I could not have imagined a year ago how much the iSmart program could change me. This experience has made me a better teacher, coworker, collaborator, and student. What I learned in this program, I can't wait to share with my fellow educators. My husband gets most of the lectures, being a teacher himself. iSmart has made me better in four ways, through inquiry-based learning, constructivism, discourse, and reflection. Open up your eyes, take a look at me. Get the picture fixed in your mind. Before the school year started, I knew I wanted to have more inquiry-based learning in my classroom. I wasn't sure how I was going to do it myself, but I didn't have to. With our professors and other iSmarters, I got to talk through what was true inquiry and frequently practiced it in my classroom this year. The students enjoyed having more of a purpose for our day. These are some of the inquiry lessons I did in my science class this year. Constructivism was a new term for me. I had never heard of it, but it immediately made sense to me. This quote from Galileo and Dr. Ramsey's, I can't teach you, I can only give you opportunities to learn, was my motto for this last semester. If I wasn't giving my students opportunities to explore and explain for themselves, I was doing them a disservice. My favorite lesson of the year was over life cycles of insects. I brought in mealworms, the pupa, and beetles, and did an activity very similar to our first encounter with the critters last summer. At first, putting bugs on students' desks seemed like a bad idea, but the students quickly got over their fear and got close to the bugs. As I asked them to share their observations, I could already tell they were building on knowledge they already had. Some of my responses were, it looks dead because it isn't moving. It has six legs, so it could be an insect. It looks swollen in one place, like a pregnant person. It could be pregnant. It looks like it's in some kind of shell, like a cocoon. We had come from shrugs and I don't knows to being willing to share all of our ideas, even if they sounded silly. I made a special effort this year to include more time for discourse in my classroom. I wanted the students to talk or write about what they were doing and learning. If they couldn't talk about it, then they didn't understand it. In past years, this wasn't a priority, so we were quickly clean, cleaning up a lab, rushing to answer questions, and then heading out the door for the next class. That wasn't working. Talking out inquiry and 5e and constructivism and integration on Wednesday nights helped me see what a help talking with other students can be. I am constantly amazed by the ideas my students have when I only give them time to say them. I will always give them time to talk and write, even if we have to have a shorter lab to make time for it. My first year of teaching, my mentor gave me this notebook for reflection. She explained it was always important to reflect over your lessons, looking for ways to improve. During my first year of teaching, I've used this regularly. I got it out this year and realized that I, it had been two years since I even looked at it. It was missing a whole year of teaching. After I got it out, I began writing my expectations for a lesson before I taught it and then reflecting on it afterwards. When I was more consciously thinking about how I could improve, I made better choices. I got input from students after lessons and added to my reflections. Overall, because I am willing to think about my teaching, it has improved. The time it takes is worth it when it helps the students. I also talked to other teachers more about what I was doing in the classroom, what they were doing, and we would follow up with each other and discuss what went well and what could have been improved. I have always been a fan of collaborating with other teachers. We have the best ideas. Reflecting with them made collaborating even better.
The thing I will remember most about my first year of iSmart is this little girl coming a week early before I had time to finish my critter digital story or my proportional reasoning midterm. Thank goodness for moms and husbands. However, I am grateful every day for the opportunity I have to be in this program. I would not and will not be the teacher I am or will be without it. I am anxious to know what the second year will bring. In the meantime, I will enjoy my summer off.